Hey guys, it's Anna, and today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. I figured since I haul so much thrift stuff, I thought it was about time that I showed you guys kind of how I keep my closet organized since I do have so much stuff. So much thrifted clothes. It's so funny because I always look in my closets now and I'm like, wow, I think at least like 80% of my closets has to be thrifted and it just makes me so happy. So I decided I would share with you guys some of my organization tips and kind of some of my inexpensive ways that I organize and kind of decorate my closet and keep it very functional for all the stuff that I have to make sure that every Everything fits. I have three different closets that I use. I'm standing in front of my main closet right now. This is the closet that I reach into most often. More of the clothes that I usually reach for. And then I have my second closet, which is the one you guys always see me sitting in front of in like my office room. And then I have my coat closet that's out by my front door. So it's basically just storage and coats. I would rather not have three different closets, but that's just the way that my apartment is set up right now. I wish I could have all my clothes in the same spot but you get what you get. The other thing that I hate about my closets is the little sliding door situation. But so we're gonna do this the best that I can. So we're gonna start with this first edge over here. But so up top, I've got two levels of like shelving. On the very top shelf, I basically just keep like my bags for when I wanna travel or like run for like weekend stuff. And then the whole very, very top level of like the shelves is just all sweaters. Those are sweaters that I wear less often. So they're up at top so because they're not as like accessible. All right here, I've got all of my extra pants. This is basically like pants, like colored jeans basically, or like jeggings are mostly up here. I do have a couple pairs of jeans, but that's because in the other spot there's like no room, which is unfortunate. To keep my closets fresh, I do keep little cedar blocks in here. I do have a lot of wool and cashmere and just sweaters and stuff that I don't want bugs in, especially like holes from like moths and just like nasty bugs. So I always keep cedar blocks um, I have cedar blocks and then I also have cedar hangers. And the way that I have my closet organized right now is it goes like trousers or like work slacks, like work pants, and then it goes into a skirt and then it starts going into my shirts that goes all this way. So this closet is mainly shirts, like work shirts, pants that I can wear to work. There are some jeans down below and then I have all my sweaters and then like my work pants and skirts. My dresses and like jackets are in the other closet. It starts from like all of my sleeveless shirts and then it goes into like my button ups and stuff. I always keep my pants on like these wooden hangers just because I feel like they're sturdier. I usually have two pairs of pants on a single hanger. I really like these. They're so sturdy. I used to always have my jeans hung up but just since there's not that much room, I don't hang up my jeans anymore. This is sitting in here blank with no pants on it, probably because I have pants that need to be put away. But also because I like having the cedar hangers as well. I just have so much cedar happening to keep bugs away. All of these slacks that I have are all thrifted. So there's like got to be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, probably at least 10 to 12 pairs of thrifted slacks right here. And then moving into my skirts, I just use these hangers. These are my favorite types of hangers for like skirts. But I love these hangers. I think you can find them at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, maybe even Bed Bath & Beyond. These are my favorite. They don't take up too much space. And then obviously they match well with the hangers that I use for my pants match perfectly. Skirts though I don't thrift as easily. Most of these skirts I think are either from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Nordstrom Rack. Got these ones. These are some of my favorite ones right here. This is a good one to take out too because this is another type of hanger that I actually really don't like for skirts and like pants. I hate these kind of hangers. They just are so bulky. They have like so much little like of this right here. So this little thing that like opens up so you can open up the hanger hate it. These are some of my favorite skirts. I have it in black and gold and then I have it also in this white and like nude color. And then this is a newer skirt that I got from Target. Got it on super sale. I think it was like five or eight dollars. Going into some of my longer and like bodycon type skirts here. This is one of my favorite skirts of all time. You've probably seen it in a couple different pictures because I love it. Here's some thrifted skirts. Love these. This one especially. This one I keep because it is from Barney's New York. I really like this one. It's such a nice thick material. And then see again, I have more cedar blocks. This is the kind that you can put over the hangers. Some of my favorite skirts ever thrifted are these leather skirts. I've got a short one and a longer one. I think these are basically all thrifted pants except these I got from the outlet. These are Lucky Brand jeans. Got all of my corduroy pants up top. 
Um, some of my favorite ones, and these are definitely thrifted. These are just these like metallic-y looking pants. These are by Zach and Rachel. And I like to keep my pants, I fold them a certain way so that I can see them really nicely. I'm like super like picky about like how I organize my closet. So I keep them folded like this. These again are some pants that I thrifted. They're American Eagle white jeans. Beautiful. I always fold them like this so that the pockets are sitting upwards and so that there's a fold right on the outside so that they sit. They're usually looking a little bit nicer than they are now. So then going into my shirts. Basically all these shirts are thrifted. I've got all these sleeveless ones, velvet ones here because I'm obsessed with velvet clothing. It's a serious addiction problem. Going into some more of my sleeveless, this is one of my favorites. Again, thrifted Calvin Klein silk beautifulness. But I have a few of these that I got from Nordstrom Rack, like this one right here is from Nordstrom Rack. Thrifted, 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 all of these thrifted. I think I have a couple shirts in here that I got from my Plato's Closet as well. This is one of my newer shirts that I actually, ooh, why is it stuck? Oh, you're trying to hang on to two hangers? Okay. Okay. Where did the shirt go? Fail. You're trying to hang on to two different hangers. This is one of my newer thrift finds. I love it. It's by the brand Route 66. It's just a really nice cutout, like, tank top. Super cute. Especially for the summer to be, like, a nice, like, bathing suit cover-up. And I might as well just use this opportunity to show you guys the hangers that I use. I'm sure you guys are familiar with these like velvet black hangers. I love using these hangers. You get them in like any color. I always get them from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They're probably going to be like $15, $20 for a huge pack of them. And they don't take up a lot of space. So if, especially if you have a lot of clothes, these are great. Getting more into like the longer sleeved ones. A couple like peasant tops in here. I love this one so much. I don't even know why. This one is by the brand French Monday. I just really like this one. I think it's super cute. Thrifted. Really? What the heck? They're doing like construction outside, so it's super loud. So I apologize if you can hear people yelling or a ton of like cars and stuff. That's what they're doing. Here's some one of my newer thrifted shirts. Love it because it's all silky. And then I love this shirt too. I'm not really sure if I love how it fits on me now. It's a little bit oversized. It's just from H&M. Love. So here we are in the middle. Again, I hate these doors. I hate them because you can only see like a little chunk at a time. So going in from some of my longer, like more decorative type floral shirts. And then I have a couple, some more velvet. Here's this one just by Ann Taylor. It's a little bit more of like a three quarter of the length top instead of a full length sleeve one. More velvet, velvet, velvet. And this basically from like here, actually this one, one shirt in here that's not thrifted. From here over is basically all thrifted. Like these two shirts are from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I think. This one might be from a TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And then these are like all thrifted. I know these two shirts I've had like forever, forever that I got from the outlet, the Ralph Lauren outlet years and years ago. Other than that, everything else from about here is all thrifted. You guys know I love my plaid button up, so those are here. These are more like shirts that I wear to work, so these are more like dressy, button up, go to work type shirts. Most of them are either, I think they're actually mostly J. Crew. Again, I've got the row of sweaters right there, and then sweaters that I, do, I wear like less often are way at the top. I would love to be able to have a closet or like space and storage space in this apartment where I can take my sweaters out. Usually I move my sweaters to the other closet in the summertime so I don't even look at them, but I just didn't this year. And then you can see a little bit of this side. I love using these like hanging organizer things. And the way I organize these are really just like sleeveless. They're like my sleeveless like vest things that I am obsessed with. Like some of these guys, this is brandless, but it's thrifted. This is basically all the way thrifted from top to bottom in this one and I think I got this one from Ikea actually I can't remember the price of it but I got them from Ikea I love these hanging things it kind of gets like longer sleeved as you go down so these are like thinner ones with like sleeveless this one's really really thin again it's thrifted long sleeve but it's super thin that's why it's up top and then moving into some more long sleeve ones and more like kind of like cardigans a lot of these are cashmere as well this whole thing is like cashmere this one right here is all cashmere down at the bottom i just keep on these little wire baskets i've had these for years now i got these from bed bath and beyond i don't remember the price of them but you just kind of build them together you can make them as big as you need them to be in here just houses my jeans and i also have hoodies down at the bottom like i have my school hoodies and then i've got like more like track jacket we'll just go to the other door 
last little section in this closet this is actually the wall and then what you're seeing over here hanging up is my robe like my house coats hanging up on my door I have a ton of those little door hanger things but so inside the closet after here's the wall this is probably my favorite section of my closet weirdly and I think it's just because I found how to make use of this weird wall that just like indents into the closet so again i've got the hanging organizer thing that i love i think this one is actually from bed bath and beyond it's a little bit longer than the ikea one and also a little bit thinner but i've had this one i think since i was in like high school i've had this one for years it still holds up it's still clean and in great condition so duh i keep it organization in this one is really just all of my tank tops and then i have like all of my crop tops or like more crop tight fitting shirts in this one and then going down into some more like longer sleeve but still kind of crop and then I've got my leggings that I wear to work down at the very bottom and some more of like longer sleeves that I might be able to wear to work so again this closet is more stuff that I can wear to work it's not as casual as my other closet is in my office room and then again you've got sweaters up here and then I also have a container of some more of more some more more <laughs> of some more of my like really fragile type clothing if you've seen before in my thrift hauls where I thrifted my beaded tops they're in there protected so they don't get messed up too much to say again this is mostly thrifted the tank tops are tank tops I've probably had forever I've got some of my crop tops in here like this is one of my favorites actually this is my top shop again thrifted this one I love too it's one of those like I just think like Spanish like Latin type tops love this one I actually got it from Plato's closet forever ago what else is in here these are like all thrifted but I also have shirts like really nice going out type crop tops this one is from Fashion Nova these two are also from Fashion Nova they're like little suede crop tops love and then like I said I've got my leggings down here so I just have like my black plain leggings these are by mud that I got from Kohl's forever ago these are some of the best leggings ever and they don't even have them there anymore sadness in this little hole that's more like work type shirts i have a few of these little collared shirts this one is by ivanka trump and i thrifted it the use of this space i love i ended up putting up these little these like command things i don't even know if that's the brand but they're the little hooks that you can put on with just like the sticker and then you can remove it off so it's not like drilled into the wall or anything it's just those stickers and then i use those to store my hats so I've got a few hats. I think there's a few hats missing. I also keep on here my little, like, what are these called? I just think they're, like, floppy hats. I've got three of them sitting all together just on this little hook. And then I even have one way up higher. And that one way up there holds my summer big, like, beachy type hats are on the hook that's way up there and then I also have my little thing that holds all of my sunglasses that I made myself DIY'd it and I did make a second one I love making these things they are super easy to make super inexpensive I'll show how to make them in one of my vlogs at some point because I already filmed how I made this one so I'll include that but great storage for your sunglasses so now let's just roll on into the next room and we'll go to the next closet this closet is definitely my favorite closet as you can see the doors in this room are different it's like the pull open doors so I can have two of them open instead of just one like in the other room I have another one of these little hanging organizer things this one again is from Ikea it is made specifically for shoes over here I mainly keep like flats so I have like these flats that I got from like a TJ Maxx or Marshalls they are just Betsy Johnson glitter so cute also I've got some of these Ralph Lauren little pink flats and then I have my green little Adidas that I got from DSW and they are housed in here as well this little thing has little pockets on the side so in one pocket I keep little like shoe insole and then also in these pockets I like to keep extra little cedarness so in here I have little cedar balls they're cedar things in like every closet so I have cedar balls kept in this little pocket on the side yes there's balls kept in the pocket all right and then also again I have the cedar blocks kept up on the shelves it's the same style or whatever as the other closet there is the rack and then there's the two shelves lined up on this top shelf I really just keep storage it's not really that full I guess I'll just pull up my sleeves because they're getting annoying up here this is mainly just like storage especially the very very top shelf I keep like pillows and stuff for when people come to visit that's up there and then there's extra like shoe boxes and stuff when I need to send stuff out for my depop shop I also keep my shoe protectant in this closet because 
all of my shoes are here. Then going into the shoes, I love that I was finally able to put everything in here like this and be able to see all of my boots. As you can see, I have a problem with boots. First, it's on this little rack. This is like a shoe display organizer thing. I think it's from Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't really like this thing too much because there's not really too much space in between the sections, but I have this one. I have all of my boots right here. These are the ones from publicdesire.com. Actually, I got these ones too. These ones are from Nordstrom Rack. I got them on super sale, but like forever ago. On this side, this is like a wooden shoe rack. I don't know where this one's from. I actually got it from my mom, so it was free 99 for me. I like this one a lot better because there's a lot more space in between each section. It holds less shoes than this one does, but at least the space is a little bit better. So that's why I keep heels on this one where there's not that much space and more of like booties and boots over on this one. My DIY boot stands on the inside of a lot of my boots. This is just the box that the boots come in and I just cut it up into pieces, stick it in the boots and it helps them stand up. Then also for some of my boots, like this pair of boots and this pair of boots, it actually has the like pool noodles inside and I just kind of cut them in half. Alright, so I've got the taller boots up top and then it goes kind of into more like dressy, like things I could probably wear to work. Like these ones I got from DSW, these are super cute. These are like so nice. So it's like a really nice like leather but it's got like kind of a design in there. These are by Mac Studio. I just really like these. I just don't wear them that much. And then it goes down more into like clubby type going out type heels. So some of them you can't really see because they're behind the boots. These are some of my all time favorite shoes. I actually wore these to my college graduation. I love these because they're neon yellow. They're all actually a faux suede as well. I got these from gojane.com. These though I got forever ago. So And then I also have some fun ones behind the boots. Like I've just got like my single soled shoes. That's what these are called, right? Single soled shoes. Again, these were from gojane.com. They were super inexpensive and I've had them for so long. And then way, way at the bottom, I've just got sandals. So I have these really nice, fun ones. These were again from DSW on sale. Love these. They're like a bright neon pink. They're by Steve Madden. These are some of my favorite sandals. These are only some of my sandals in there because some of my sandals are kept by the front door as well. Some of the ones that I wear like more every day. And then I also have more boots sitting down here. Again, these are some of my favorite boots. These are the suede ones that I got from DSW. Most of my shoes are from DSW. Some of them though are thrifted, but most are from DSW. I also have hidden down here in here my dance goes, which I have literally had forever. I actually need to wash them. They're actually pretty dirty, which is gross. These are my black ones I've had these for years I've actually had these since like high school still have them because they are still in great condition besides the fact that I need to wash them and dance goes if you've never tried them they're some of the most comfortable shoes you could ever ever wear and so moving on to this wooden little section this is more like booties most of these again are from like DSW I do have a few pairs that were thrifted like these pair were thrifted just these tan little booties they are by LC Lauren Conrad. I did do a full like boots collection so I'll try to include that in the description box below if I can remember and I literally just remember that I did that video. So then on the top I've just got all of my Juicy Couture jackets. A lot of them again are thrifted. Like see I've got like this black one. It's just like plain black. This one does have the little design on the back but I just have all of mine. Um, Juicy Couture jackets up there and then moving over I have like all of my like bodycon more like going out like kind of sexy type dresses up top that are just folded kind of like shirts and then I've got shorts that I've pants and stuff that I've cut into shorts on the top over on the other section too and then what you can see right here starts going into like my jackets in this closet I really only have shoes jackets and dresses I do have a couple a little organizer of shirts which we'll get to this so starts with this little organizer thing which I actually don't like that much um, but I got this from TJ Maxx it was really inexpensive it's supposed to be I think for like accessories or something but I just keep on it my kind of like decorative tops all of these tops were thrifted and they're kind of weird to fold up and put in the little organizer and then I have these hangers which I've had forever I just think they're so cute if I ever get a rack that like sits out in the open I want to put these on there because they're leopard pattern and they're super cute. Right over here, like I said, goes into some of the jackets. I also have a few vests, like I've got my fur vest. This one is actually from Talbot's. I got this one on sale at the outlet. Then I have hanging up some of my like Phillies, um, just like Philadelphia sports teams jerseys. Some of them are hanging up. Um, I have these, again, these were thrifted, so they were super inexpensive. Got some cardigans that don't really button up, so they have to be hung up. I usually have more of my jean jackets in here, but right now they're by my door on the coat rack. And then I've just got a ton of cardigans, and then it goes into blazers. Like, this is one of my favorite blazers of all time. This little cute one, I think this one was thrifted. It's so nice. It's like a really thin, like, tweed. It's by the brand Hinge. I think you can actually get it from 
from Nordstrom, but I'm not sure. It goes into like all these really nice blazers. I've got another um, black one. This one was definitely thrifted. I showed this one recently. Don't know the brand of it, but it's super cute. Then like the only thing that I will ever buy from H&M really like religiously is their blazers because I love them. These ones though I've had for so long. Oh, this one's from Forever 21. But this one is from H&M. Love it. It's just a really nice pretty. It's like an orangey red. And then this one is one of my all-time favorite blazers too. Then again, I have some of those little like wire type organizer things at the bottom that just has more boots in there and it also houses one of my favorite more, more recent purchases for shoes and it's just these converse high tops um love these i showed these in a haul before now we'll go into the other section which i have to close the door so you can kind of see it this one the two doors open up nice and wide but then there's a little baby section over here so sorry if this one's a little bit more awkward to show this is a really tight squeeze right here because the door there's just not that much space this is all dresses right here um, most of these are either from Nordstrom Rack or thrifted like some of my favorite ones I still cannot believe I thrifted this dress like it is so pretty it's by the brand Ooh, it's like a Chinese or Asian type brand but this is so pretty thrifted that one this is also another one of my favorites that I thrifted this one is by it's from Bloomingdale's just this really pretty like tangerine orange color so cute the way i kind of organized it is i kind of went from like spaghetti strap to like thicker strap and then to long sleeve type dresses i also have in here some of my the rifted velvet long beautiful dresses i love this i have this little it's like a garment bag inside i think there's another velvet dress i think i have like a sequin dress in there as well to keep it protected and then like I was mentioning up top are the shorts and then I just have shoe boxes in this little corner as you can kind of see is another one of my little hanging organizer things. This one again I've had forever. This I think is one of the longer ones that I have. Let's keep in here my casual shirts. So this is more like sleeveless type shirts. I have some of my favorite ones. This one I actually got from the Lucky Brand outlet. But this is one of my all time favorite shirts. This shirt that I love that I wore in a video before is... This one that again was thrifted, this one is by Express, this is actually the front. It goes down to like t-shirts, some of my favorite t-shirts in here as well. They're just more like graphic type t-shirts that are in this one. And then this one's like really casual like long sleeve shirts. This one that I just thrifted as well, it's kind of like a thermal long sleeve one by Mossimo. So it's in here, just goes from short sleeves or like no sleeve sleeveless, short sleeves, long sleeves, transitions into like leggings and pants and there's a couple really long skirts that are in here too because it's just like weird to hang them up so in here i've got like leggings this pair where did i get this pair from did i thrift this pair if i thrifted this pair that's amazing but i actually no i got this from from target i found these at target then it goes into more of like pants and skirts so this is some more stuff that i've thrifted this is a pair of like cargo pants by gap i think these are by gap yeah these are by gap love these and then i also have some skirts down at the bottom, just extra long, decorative type looking skirts that I thought would be nice if I ever go to like a music festival or something, they're a little bit different. And then down at the bottom, I just keep a huge tub of like all of my nail polishes and printer paper. So that is this closet. And then now we're going to move into our last closet, which is the coats. Okay, so this is the last closet. I'm going to try to be quick because I'm literally right by my front door and it's awkward and I had to change my shirt because the other one was too annoying. This is my coat closet. I use it mainly just for storage so that's why it looks disgusting so we're going to be pretty quick. There's just all types of storage at the very very top. It's just like cleaning stuff. Um, there's a lot of my Christmas stuff is stored up there as well and I have those little wire things that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond forever ago. Use as like um, my organization stuff in here. I also keep all of my extra little hangers in here. I use these all the time for like DIYs. That's why I keep these. These are the ones that I get from like the dry cleaners. And then in here is all of my like winter stuff up top. So it's all of like my hats and my scarves are some of my favorite ones that I got from like um, Burlington Co. Factory. This is like a little fur one. I mainly only buy circle scarves. And then down at the bottom, I keep some of my shoes that I wear more every day. I got like my little black slip-ons that I just got from Charlotte Roos. These are some of my all-time favorite Gladiator sandals. These are Sam Edelman that I got from TJ Maxx like my laundry detergent and stuff in here so it's on the floor and you can start to see some of the coats that are in here as well this side is a little bit more of the fun side because it's actually my jackets and then again i've got like storage stuff i also keep my yoga mat up here and some of my tools and some extra towels to like clean up with all of my jackets are here i really like to keep my like shorter type pea coats on this side and then this side goes into the longer jackets and then like thinner type jackets like vests and then you've got like windbreakers and stuff 
mostly thrifted again. Here's one of my favorite. And again, I like to use these thicker wooden hangers for the jackets just because they're usually heavier. This is one of my favorites by Marmot Thrifted. And see, I also keep all of my vests in here. These are both thrifted. This one is by Eddie Bauer. And then this one is Ann Taylor Lofts. I've got some more of the cedar blocks as well. These are like the hanger kind. So they're sitting on like a little hanger. I keep these on the little nook hanger things in the back against the wall. Some more of my favorite jackets. This one was thrifted. This one's by Ann Taylor. It's a really nice suede all the way full of like faux fur on the inside and this jacket fell. This again is one of my favorite jackets. This one I got from I think at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Just all the way faux fur. I wore this one in my Fashion Nova haul. This one's by the brand Me Jane but I love this. And then here I just have my winter jacket. This is just my super duper long winter jacket by Laundry by Shelly Seagal. Got it from Marshalls. And then I just got like thinner like windbreakers and like rain jackets on the edge too again thrifted this one's by dan skin and then at the bottom is just storage i keep all of my like cat crates down at the bottom so that's what you're seeing as a mess right here and that's everything for this closet That is everything for this video to show you guys how I keep my closets organized and how I keep all of my thrifted stuff in my closets. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize if it was a little bit long. I do hope that it helps some of you guys maybe to show you guys some extra tips or tricks in how to organize your closet. Also to show you guys there are less expensive options to keep your closet organized and I like keeping my closet organized so that I feel good every time I look at the mess of clothes in my closet. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.